My dear friends in Christ Jesus, I welcome you to Mamre International Prayer Center being led by Bishop Jacinto Chivuka. I want to encourage you, we are always sharing our reflections on the scripture, on the word of God, on our YouTube channel. And I want to encourage you to share, like it, and share it with your neighbor. We are always sharing different themes, different reflections, and even our prayers are there. There may be those who are feeling down. You can encourage them to visit our, our channel on YouTube and watch it. Share it with someone. Like it, and God will bless you. In case of any comment, you can write it in the comment section. Oh, we have our numbers that is running down there. You can send a comment. You can send a prayer request, and we shall pray for you. Any dream that you don't understand, anything that you don't understand, share it with us, and we shall respond to you. I welcome you all to... Mamre International Prayer Center. We are always here on Wednesdays and on Sundays. So come and worship with Bishop Jacinto Chibuka. Come and worship with us. I remain Reverend Father Vincent Olowo from Mamre International Prayer Center. God bless you all. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, I welcome you all to today's reflection. My names are Reverend Father Vincent Olowo from Mamre International Prayer Center, being led by Bishop Jacinto Chivuka. And today in our reflection of this day, we are going to reflect on the theme which says that get ready, that may you get healed in Jesus' mighty name. And we shall reflect mainly from the scripture texts that are quoted from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3 from verse 1 onwards. And maybe briefly, I could read, for those who don't have the Bible, could read for you just a little about it, the scripture text that we have today. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3, from verses 1 onwards, says, Now Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer. And a man crippled from birth was carried and placed at the gate of the temple, called the beautiful gate, every day to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. He paid attention to them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold. But what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He leaped up, stood, and walked around, and went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking, and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with amazement and astonishment at what had happened to him. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, that is the scripture text that we have today for our reflection. And as I told you that the theme is, may you get healed in Jesus' mighty name. First of all, my dear friends, I want to tell you that in the name of Jesus, there is healing. In the name of Jesus, as the scriptures tell us, that in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Which means, when we use the name of Jesus, even the sicknesses will bow. All the situations, the difficult challenges that we are going through, will bow down when we use the name of Jesus. And we see in today's reflection that Peter and John were moving for their prayer. They were going to the temple area for prayer, for the three o'clock prayer. And they found this man who was crippled from birth. He was born crippled and he grew up crippled. And the only thing he knew, just like any other crippled person, to go and sit in the streets and beg for arms, beg for support. When we move in the streets of Kampala, which we find them there begging and asking for her arms. And they don't ask for anything else apart from asking for arms. And this is what really happened to this man. For him, they could carry him, take him 
to the gate, the beautiful gate that enters the temple. And he would always beg for alms. Now, when these disciples of Jesus, the apostles came, Peter and John, these were men of God, the anointed men of God. This crippled man did not know, I can call him a beggar, he did not know what to beg from them. It's the same as you and me today. Many people today, when they face challenges, they go to the places of worship, they go to churches, not to seek for God, but to seek for either healing or miracles that people are looking for. And people have ended up in wrong churches today because they are seeking miracles, because they are looking for miracles. But we have to seek first to God and the rest will fall in line as we, we read from Matthew chapter 6, verses 36 that tells us that seek first the kingdom of God and the rest will fall in line. When we seek first the kingdom of God, everything comes in line. My dear brother and sister, when you go to church, what do you go to do there? Do you really go to seek God? Do you really go to seek God's intervention in your challenge that you're going through, in those problems, in those difficult situations? Do you go to seek God? Do you go to look for God's hand upon your problems, upon your challenges, or you go to look for miracles? Most people today want automatic miracles, and that's why they end up in churches which are not true churches, which are not following our Lord Jesus, our Master. Just because they mention the name Jesus, Jesus, they say, be believe Jesus and get saved, and they go there. Why? Because there are miracles that are happening there. Of course, everyone needs a blessing, but the Bible tells us that seek first the kingdom of heaven, and the rest will fall in line. This crippled man who was begging for arms, he was used to be given every time. And this time, he meets a different, a different thing, a different blessing when he met the man of God, when he met this great man of God, Peter and John. Peter told him that silver and gold we do not have, but in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And therefore, my dear friends, when we go to church, let's go and seek first the blessings that comes from God and everything will follow in line. When we go to seek God, when we come to Mamre to seek God, everything will fall in if we will follow in line. All the blessings that we will that you want in life will follow in line. You may be facing challenges at your workplace, maybe in your marriages, maybe every each and every day your marriage looks crippled. You do not have children. In the marriages you are supposed to bear children. Maybe you have stayed for years, for seven years, for four years, and no, no children. It means your marriage is crippled. In your businesses, maybe the business is not going on well. There are no customers. Those who have those tomato selling places, maybe the tomatoes are even rotting there. The bananas are getting ripened and even rotting. No customers. It means your business is crippled. And therefore you need Jesus. You need the name of Jesus to come into your business. And therefore, today, I want to tell you, my dear friends, I want to tell your business that get up and walk. Let that business get up and walk now. Let that marriage get up and walk. Maybe you have challenges at your office where you work. Your boss is persecuting you every time, each and all the time. And you don't have peace of, of mind. I want to tell that job of yours, that work, that get up and walk in Jesus' mighty name. May Jesus enable your business, enable your career to get up and walk. Maybe you have challenges at, in your studies. You don't have tuition. Maybe you don't have the requirements that you need in your studies. I want to tell your studies now, get up and walk. You crippled business, get up and walk now. You crippled marriage, get up and walk in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and of the living God. Maybe there are challenges that you're facing in life. I may not know the challenge that you're going through, but today Jesus is telling us, telling that challenge that get up and walk. And therefore I also tell that challenge that you're facing in your life, get up and walk. And therefore my dear friends in Christ Jesus, when we want our challenges to get up and walk, just as this crippled man was healed in the name of Jesus, 
We have to seek first the kingdom of heaven. We have to seek God first. Of course, we expect blessings, but whatever blessing that you need, come seeking God, then God will reward you. If you want miracles, there are many people who will come to you. There are many people today, they are calling you to go to their churches. Come, there are miracles here. Come, there are testimonies here. You will end up there. And yet they are not really true men of God. Some of them are offering sacrifices in order to get powers that they use for performing those miracles. And you will end up in their churches. My dear friend, seek God first and the rest will fall in line. And therefore I encourage you to pray. And I want you to join me in prayer. We pray for that business that is crippled. We pray for that marriage that is crippled. For that job, your studies, and all the challenges that you're facing, whatever that is crippled in your life. I want you to pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my life. Come into my business. Come into my marriage. Come into my career. Come into my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. May my business that is crippled rise up and walk now. May that my marriage that is crippled rise up and walk now. In Jesus' mighty name. May my job that is crippled get up and walk and walk now. In Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. May that marriage that is not moving, may that business that is not going to the next level, get up now and walk to the next level. In Jesus' mighty name. Whoever has been tied in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God whether they tied you using any covenant, whether it's blood covenant that was made by your ancestors, by any, anyone in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, whether there are some ritual practices that you entered into knowingly or unknowingly, and now it has tied you, it has tied your destiny, and you are stuck in one place, you are crippled, you are like this crippled man, I ask you to rise up and walk now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. And may the Almighty God bless you, and always make your businesses, your marriage, and all that challenge that you're facing, whatever that is scribbled in your life, to get up and walk in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. And I ask the blessings of the Almighty God to descend upon you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you, and I encourage you to always subscribe and listen to all to these videos. It will encourage you, and if you find it important, may you share with your neighbor. Like our page and share it with someone, someone who may be facing the same challenge. Share it with them. I encourage you to put down your comment, put down your prayer requests. I will pray for you. I will keep praying for you in Jesus' mighty name.